All right, new tapping. Here we go. Six. That's not sixty. That's eighty. Here we go. Sixty. One, two, three, four. Just like uh, last time, or any of the times, really, just do a little piece by piece. So, even without the metronome, just keep uh, playing this over and over again. It starts to feel until it feels natural. Play this on its own before, until it feels natural. And then maybe go between the two strings. Just a little by a little piece by piece, a little by little. All right, so this is what uh, we started looking at yesterday. And at first, we just had that. That was cut off a little bit. Hang on. Hang on. Here we go. So yeah, you had that. Basically, you just want to you know, try and get through nice one solid take is really all you need um and it doesn't you don't have to do anything fast with it like you could set a metronome if you feel like it helps or just go real slow with it it's like <laughs> go slow if you need to Got a one four five two progression, and then you got the same progression starting on the A string. So some of this stuff's gonna be kind of funny or difficult. So that's really just when you move up to starting on the D string. So first, you know, start off with shapes that you already played in the previous example. <laughs> Seven. I do like to roll my finger on the G and the B string there. And then you can roll it again here. Or you can use multiple fingers. Honestly, whatever feels the easiest for you. You could, um, like the, Oh, that wouldn't work. Like my hand, I'll probably end up like doing some weird stuff with it. But that's 
just to get a lot of speed out of it. I would need to fiddle around with what fingers I would want to use. Now, honestly, whatever fingers feel natural for you, as long as everything sounds good to you, that's all that really matters. Just get used to the shapes. So you can hear how it all sounds. on those strings and then when you get to the other stuff down here which is cut off there we go um, so again more like barring or rolling of the fingers will be helpful it's like that C major 7 I'm going to use my middle finger for the rolling shape. Same thing there. This might feel a bit weird. The big thing like when you're doing this is just to kind of re-emphasize over and over and over again like you know you're starting off like that's your root. Major third, there's the five. And then you're hitting the seven. And then you're changing the three for the two. You're putting the three back. You're putting the two back in. You're finishing with that octave. So a lot of it is just to help you see those intervals, how they're spaced. You know, then you got, yeah, like the minor seven which we did over here the first time. So just kind of like, so you can see, like, like the root and the five, it's always like same distance, same shape. But then root to uh, the major third, the whole two whole steps and the minor third is step and a half. When you see the major seven, it's always that half step below the root note, or the octave of the root note, whereas the minor seven or flat seven, so he's a whole step below that root note. So that's what I meant by like just trying to pay attention to how these shapes look, the intervals that are being played. So this way you can identify stuff a lot faster. So like anywhere you're on the fretboard, if you're here, well, where's the major third up? Move it up right there. What about the seven? Like you just go up here, octave, bam. There you go, you got your major seven. If you want that minor seven, go up octave, and then you can just go down a whole step. Of course, you can go down here a whole step from that as well. But then the five, it's just your power chord, really. See that all over the place. The two, always just that half, a whole step up from the root. So, yeah, just be observant of the stuff that you're playing what intervals are being used and whatnot, so this way, you know, as we continue to progress with this stuff, it'll be easier for you, because you just, like, look at it, be like, yep, it's that interval, yep, it's that one, yes, it's that one, so on and so on. All right, yeah, just try and make it through each one of these examples, nice, good take, slow as you need to, and I think that does it. All right, any questions, let me know. I'll see you again next week.